Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob and today it's time for another product review. So if you guys remember, I have done Screen Protect products in the past on my Tacoma, but this time we're actually going to be looking at a product for the Toyota 4Runner guys. So this is the screen protector for the gauges as well as the infotainment center and the park reverse neutral plastic guys. Really nice. You may have seen that I have done this before for the Tacoma. It's going to be pretty much the same deal for the 4Runner. Guys, Screen Protect, they have shown me time and time again that they are a great company. Your customer service is also stellar. I highly recommend looking into them, guys. They do have a wide variety of products for a wide variety of cars, guys. Not just Toyota, not just 4Runner, not just Tacoma. A whole lot of different cars they have. So check them out on their website, guys, on Screen Protect's website. And remember, guys, if you guys want any Screen Protect products, Use the coupon code Rob's Autos for a discount, guys. That is Rob's Autos. It will get you a discount on their products. Definitely worth checking into, especially if you're like me and you like to protect your products. So go ahead and check them out. And with that, we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing of the Screen Protect, Screen Protector 4D 4Runner. So let's go ahead and let's get to the unboxing. Hello, everybody. So I just wanted to give a bit of clarification before we go on to the unboxing. So I did specify that it is the gauge cluster plastic as well as the infotainment center that we're gonna be protecting. But I also did say the park reverse neutral plastic. Here's the thing guys, I didn't realize the 4Runner actually doesn't need that. It doesn't have that. So as a result, that's not included in the packaging. So it is just going to be the gauge plastic as well as the infotainment center guys. So keep that in mind guys. So no park reverse neutral plastic. It's not like the Tacoma setup. So it's not needed, guys. So with that, let's go on to the unboxing. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and let's do the unboxing. So remember, guys, this is the Screen Protect Screen Protector for the Toyota 4Runner. They do sell the screen protectors for a variety of cars, guys. Go and check them out. And remember, guys, it doesn't have to be a 4Runner or a Tacoma. If you see anything you like there, go ahead and use the coupon code Rob's Autos for a discount, guys. That is Rob's Autos for a discount on Screen Protect's website. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. They always have very nice packaging. So first things first, we do have the instructions here. So it's a QR code, you'll scan that and I'll give you instructions. They do also give you a very nice microfiber cloth as well as a squeegee tool wrapped on the inside. So you will be using these when you install it. Put that to the side, right here. So this is what you will be using to spray, you know, the water and soap mixture to basically help you really get the placement right for the screen protector. If you look, you'll see it actually already has some soap on the inside, so you don't have to add any soap. Just add water and you are good to go, guys. So we'll put that right here. And now for the main attraction, put this right over here. So these are the actual protectors. So first off, here is the gauge protector. I did get multiple, guys. It is a good idea if you do think you will mess up then you might as well get multiple so that if you mess up on the first try, you can always try again. And then here is the actual instrument cluster protector as well as the parking reverse neutral, that plastic area as well. So remember guys, this is going to both protect and cover up any pre-existing light scratches that you do already have on the plastics for the gauge and the instrument cluster. So do keep that in mind guys. So I definitely do recommend looking into this for your 4Runner. So with that guys, let's go ahead and let's get to the install. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the install on the gauge cluster. Now, here's the thing, guys. The gauge cluster on the 4Runner, that is a bit harder. It is curved, it's not flat like some other cars and trucks. So that's definitely going to make it a bit more of a challenge. Just remember, guys, the film, it's not gonna be a perfect fit. There's supposed to be some overlap so that you could tuck it in behind the plastic so that that way everything will be covered. So it's gonna take a lot of patience, guys. Might take a few tries. Just make sure to use a lot of solution, guys. See, I have it filled up, water and the soap that was inside. So I'm gonna get this extremely wet as well as get a plastic, guys. Remember, guys, the wetter the better, especially for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna spray this like mad. Just everything, guys, just get it really good because you wanna be able to slide as needed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. And we're also gonna spray this too. So this is off. Just get a lot, guys. You wanna make this as easy as possible for you. You know, any water or anything that gets caught in between after you squeegee it, that's gonna dissipate over time. 
this for good measure, guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and let's get this on. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna tuck, I'm gonna tuck it in here on the sides, tuck it in. So right side's a little bit tucked in there now. Now we're gonna go straight to the left side. Let's get that tucked in there too. All right, so now the top, tuck in. So now I have a good tuck in all around top and the sides. Now for the bottoms. So just gotta keep on sliding it. There we go. So see that? It's sliding in under there. So that's good. Some good work right there. So we're gonna go ahead and spray some more. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna use my hand here first to afford a squeegee, just to try to get everything as good as I can. So that's in, that's in. Do you of course use the cutout on the stick on the gauge to as a sort of a sort of a measure right there. So that's a pretty good fit right there. So it should be staying in around this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze you off to the side. Let me spray some more. All right. Curb surfaces are always a pain with this kind of stuff, guys. It just takes a lot of patience, a lot of effort. You're gonna see, we're gonna have a much easier time when we get to the infotainment area. All right, so now it's pretty much in place, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start squeegeeing it out, guys. Let's get that water out. So first, let's, so this is perfectly good, so let's tuck this in. There we go, so look at that, guys. It's starting to stick. That's what we wanted. I'm also making sure that when I'm squeegeeing it up, I'm helping to tuck it in there. So just tuck it in. There you go, guys. That's looking phenomenal right now. Really happy with how this is coming out. I'm gonna flip this over so I could have a bit easier time tucking it in. All right, so we're gonna come back to that area in a little bit. Look at that, guys. I'm, I'd say right now it's we're about 75% there, guys. Now it's really just a matter of squeegeeing everything just right to get all the solution out of there. Yep. You might have to do some slight shifting just to make sure that everything is nice and tight. But as you can see though guys, this is pretty much the idea. You're just gonna wanna slowly work at it. I'm not gonna bore you guys on camera showing you guys how I'm gonna correct the rest of this, but just keep on going at it on the edges, move it as needed guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip ahead. All right you guys, so I'm behind the camera really quick. Just wanna show you guys how it's looking so far. So here's the thing guys, curved surfaces are very hard. You know, you do just have to make sure to keep in mind that you will be tucking in the top and the bottom. And just, just like this guys, see that how it's working there? Just go ahead and squeegee out the water. That is why they recommend that you do wrap the squeegee around a cloth. So you can go ahead and just uh, squeegee it downwards and then basically when the liquid comes out from the edges, the cloth will absorb it right up. You just wanna keep going up and down guys, just like this. Being that's curved, you will have to redo some parts guys. You may have to lift up a corner like I'm going to after this video, you know, lift it up and then re-smooth it back out. That's just kind of the nature of it when you deal with these curved surfaces. That's just how it is with vinyl and all this stuff, protectors, paint protection film, all of it. That's why curved surfaces can be tricky. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go on to the media center now, because I wanna show you guys that. And then we'll go ahead and talk about what I think about both products. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the infotainment center. So check this out, guys. So first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray this down. Just like the gauge cluster, get that nice and wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just take off. 
the protector. Spray that down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna apply that right over. Being that this is a flat surface, it is definitely much, much easier than the cluster. Check that out, guys. It's uh, practically there now. So now we'll just squeegee it out, squeegee out the liquid, squeegee out the liquid, squeegee out the liquid. So this is actually going to fold up underneath, hence why it is longer. So just squeegee it out. So we're just gonna squeegee on downwards. And on the edges, with such a nice flat piece of real estate, we're able to just get this all right out. Of course, remember too guys, any bubbles remain, they will work their way out eventually. And what is nice is that if you did have scratches on your screen, this will also help cover them up, as well as preventing more. So now, so we're just gonna keep on working at this. I just wanna make sure that this is all good. You know, make sure that everything here is fitting perfectly, which it is. Look at that, guys. Nice and simple, nice and easy. And now we're gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna fold this over. This is the part that might be a bit more of a pain, but just squeegee it out, guys. Remember, have this wrapped so that this is absorbing any liquid. Like that, guys. Install is pretty much done now. Uh, now just a bit more squeegeeing just to be safe. But everything is looking phenomenal, guys. Check that out. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and um, just finish it off. You know, just clean it up a little bit more. And then let's get to some of uh, my closing thoughts. All right, you guys, so there you have it, guys. The Forerunner, both the gauge and the instrument panel install. Guys, that gauge cluster, that is a monster. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take a lot of patience. I had to pretty much go inch by inch, you know, lifting and smoothing, lifting and smoothing. You know, just really just make sure that uh, one, you keep everything nice and lubricated so that you can move everything around easier. Two, make sure you have your squeegee, you know, wrapped in a cloth to absorb the liquid so you can really get those corners in right. And three, remember guys, it's supposed to be an up and down motion. The tucking is on the top and bottom part of the protector, so that tucks in. It's it's not an easy job, guys. It's, if you do it and you do it right the first time, you give yourself a pat on the back. You're a pro at this. It definitely took me a few tries, but definitely it looks pretty good. And then also the instrument panel, when that one looks great also, guys, you know, now the infotainment center, it looks nice and clean. It did cover up some of the light scratches that were on it. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, so yeah, overall, guys, of course, you know, Screen Protect, go ahead and check them out. Once again, guys, coupon code Rob's Autos on their website, all right? Rob's Autos. It's at the top. Make sure to check that out, guys, and get a discount. So with that, guys, this is Rob, and have a good one.